Is there something you work? Well, not trying to get your secrets. No, 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 no. <laughs> no see, I'm just copying Pep, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ange. Good to see you. We're just yeah. going to get a microphone attached to you very quickly there, but we really do uh, appreciate you making your way up to the <laughs> studio there. <laughs> Congratulations. Introduce yourself first, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> just give us your summing up of, of that performance, first of all. Yeah, really pleased um, with the way we kind of handled now, when you were coming here watching Bournemouth the first couple of games, that they were going to be pretty aggressive with the press and that was going to be our test. And I just thought in the first half we handled it really well. Um, boys were clear-headed, brave when we needed to be and kept the game really simple and that helped us sort of take control. And you know, We scored and probably could have had one or two more. And then second half we lost our way for about 10, 15 minutes in the start of the second half. And But even through that period we defended well and then Although we, we took control of the game again. So I just like the way, playing away from home in the Premier League is always tough, but I just like the way we controlled the aspects of the game when you were going to come and to us. how pleased are you with the way your <coughs> team responded to the fact that Bournemouth were, were starting strongly in that second half and yeah, came really, on top? Yeah, really good. And, and I think the subs helped. I thought, you know, it's the reason I put Pierre and Ivan on. I mean, they're the most experienced players. And I thought mm. they gave us sort of a calm, cool head when, when they came on. And... Uh, yeah, you know, I really like the way we just dealt with even the adversity of it. You know, when we didn't control the game, they didn't really threaten our goal, which again, I thought the back four and, and the midfield sort of defended really well in front of them. Can I ask you a question? When you made the substitutions, that was Bournemouth's best spell of yeah. the game. How much of that, as a manager, is instincts? You think, I need to stop the flow of the game here. Or, or was it pre-planned? <clears throat> no, no, it wasn't pre-planned. You kind of, you know, you've, you've probably... So, you know, I, I tend to watch a game, I've said to people, like, I watch a movie, you know, I don't like yeah. people talking to me, I don't like being distracted, because I think my role is to try and read, you know, what the players need out there, and I just thought at that time, we're just rushing things a little bit, we're obviously excited that, you know, the game had turned a bit of it into a transition <laughs> one, because Bournemouth was throwing them forward, and we just needed a couple of people to calm things down, and I just thought Ivan and, and Pierre would help us with that, and I thought they did well. Mm. Can I just ask you about one particular player, Basuma? It's just from last year, it feels like chalk and cheese. Like, I don't know if you said anything to him at the start of this season, because he's thought he just looks looks like fantastic. Yeah, player. no, he's been he's been great for us, and um, no, I haven't really with any with all the sort of players, Crouchy. Like mm. I said before the game, I kind of came in and just said, look. This is what we're going to do, this is how we'll train, this is how we'll play. And it was, you know, you kind of allow the players to kind of get on board themselves mm -hmm. rather than me sort of pushing them. And I think, you know, Biss obviously had a disappointing year last year individually and, you know, was looking for 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 a new start for himself. And, and he was great again today. You know, there, was, there were a couple of moments where I thought he got a bit sloppy with our possession. Mm -hmm. and still areas of his game he can improve, but he's such a clever player. And if we want to play out, that kind of pivot position becomes really important for us. What about that whole midfield dynamic? It's not just Basuma as well, but Madison really stood out today as well. And, and Pat Matasar as well, and another great performance from him. Are you quite pleased with how well they're clicking so quickly? Yeah, it's been good, good so far. And, and you know, all of them are sort of understanding, getting a better understanding of each other and, and the roles. And, and, you know, Matters was great today. I mean, he, he had a disrupted week. He only really trained uh, yesterday with us, but... Um, you know, his ability to see the game differently to everyone else helps us because once we get through that difficult bit of playing through and the game opens up, that's when you need the creative players. And I thought, you know, he was superb today. And, and, and Pappy's just got real energy, you know, he just doesn't stop running, which is, again is a weapon, you know. If you're trying to stop an opposition, you've got somebody who's continually running at you, it's hard to stop. And, you know, they've been good. And, and, and to be fair to the lads, you know, guys like Skippy and, and Pierre and, and Gio Celso came out at the end, you know. They, Every day of training, they're pushing each other to, to get to new levels. Can I ask you about you know, the, the, when you, the fullbacks in particular? It was an area of concern last year I looked at. I thought they, they never looked quite comfortable, Tottenham, without. But the goal in particular come from Udogi in midfield and run it. Is there some kind of trigger you use? Because he's in midfield, the ball comes out to, to, to Perisic, and he just goes. It almost seems, seems like they've been playing together ever. He went straight away and attacked the space. They look like they're playing with freedom. Is that something you work with? Not trying to get your secrets. No, no, no. <laughs> no, see, I'm just copying Pep, mate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, look, um, we, we do a lot of work on it. And, and, and a lot of it, it is sometimes instincts, but it's about trying to create a, 
And we're trying to create is a system wherever I've sort of been that's as fluid as it can be and give the opportunity to play. Say, you know what, if there's space there, Mm. forget you're a fullback. If you're just a footballer and there's space, go in the space. And then it's up to us to make sure we're covering the the gaps that are left. And so once players, I think, realise they have that freedom to do that, it's still very structured then they don't second-guess themselves, you know. They just say, well, there's space there. It doesn't matter if I'm the left full-back. If there's space inside, I'm just going to go in there, drive in there. And, you know, both, um, you know, Pedro and and Destiny, when they have the ball and they're running with it, they're they're really difficult to stop. And if it's in a central area, it makes them more effective for us. Can I just ask for you you personally, how are you enjoying the the Premier League and how are you enjoying the the club? Yeah, I'm loving it, uh, Croucher, you know. It's... um, well, so everything in the Premier League's turbocharged. You get that, um, but you know it's a, it's a massive football club. It's got unbelievable facilities, training facilities, and, and you know great stadium, great support. Um, working with fantastic footballers, mate. I'm, I'm living the dream, mate. Mm. So I love every day of it, and, and, I, and I have wherever I've been. To be fair, I've I've, I've dodged having a real job my whole life, so mm. um, long may it continue. Yeah. And I don't want to talk yeah. about Harry Kane, but obviously 30 goals last season. Does it feel more about the collective now in terms of everyone chipping in? I think it has to. I mean, um, you're not going to replace Harry, you know. He's, he's, he's an unbelievable player. And I think Harry would be the first to say that, you know, that was probably maybe what was missing. There was just too much of a reliance on him, you know. And, and you know, for me, it's about what we do is if we want to be successful we have to do it as a collective and and even with the goals it's not about having one threat it's about having multiple threats you know can we score with our wide players can we score with our midfielders can we score with our fullbacks set pieces so you know you you can bridge that gap of goals but you know what's more important i think is that you you look like you're a threat every time you go forward and you know i thought today was probably as threatening as we have looked in the first three games and i think that's that's a pleasing And another frustrating day it felt for Richarlison. Mm. How do you get the best out of him? Is it just a bit of time and a bit of patience? You just got to keep working hard. I mean, that's 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 the story of every footballer. You know, there's I keep saying to 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 every footballer I've ever worked with, particularly the younger ones. You know, it's not a it's not a linear process. It's not you start here and you finish here. It's football career is a lot of ups and downs. And if you just keep working hard and keep putting yourself. You know, Richie at the moment, what he's doing is he's, he's making an impact to a side that started really well. That's all he's got to think about. And we'll keep working with him and I know he'll keep working hard and, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get him to where we need to. And it's your birthday tomorrow, a gift of three points from the players. How are you going to celebrate? Yeah, well, I, I don't know about you guys, but I always put those things on hold till I see, don't know the results. So, uh, <laughs> so what are you going to do now? Yeah, my wife's probably scrambling at, at home now. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it'll be quiet. I've got two young ones at home and... Uh, Nothing better for me than just spending some quiet time. We've got a game on Tuesday, so I'll be in work in the morning, but uh, I'm edging closer to 60, um, which I'm not sure how I feel about, but anyway, we'll keep going.